Gary, Scotland on the verge of qualifying yep. for the European Championships. How big an achievement would that be? And how do you rate the job that Steve Clark is doing with the national team? Well, you know, I'd, unfortunately, I've not been up to see Scotland in the last three or four games at Hamden Park, which I believe have been fantastic, uh, barring the, the result against England recently. But I've got to say, Stevie Clark, you know, just from the outside looking in, looks to have created a, a sort of a club, a domestic club sort of situation where everybody generally wants to turn up and wants to play. And that was a problem in, in, in a few years ago when, when people, there was a lot of injuries, a lot of call-offs. Now everybody wants to be part of the, you know, the, the success that Scotland are producing on the pitch because not only are they getting the points, I think performance level is really high as well. Some of the, he's definitely developed a style. You know, we're, I feel we're particularly strong across the middle of the park. We've got some really good midfield players that are, that are really showing that they can compete against the very best. So it's, it, it's onwards and upwards. You know, it's, it's very similar. You know, Craig Brown passed away recently, God bless him. And I think he's creating something like what Craig did. You know, Craig managed to, with Andy Roxburgh, get to Italia 90, Euro 92, Euro 96, France 98. So it would be nice to see Scotland getting back to major tournaments because I think they're sadly missed because they get great support. You mentioned the midfield there. Talk to us about that balance in there. McTominay seems to yes. produce his best for Scotland. Billy Gilmore now playing on a regular basis in the Premier League for Brighton, and, and John McGinn seems to go from strength to strength. Yes, so we are particularly strong in there. And, and the, the, the three that you've just named there are playing in a very, the, 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 most, the biggest elite league in the world. And obviously you get McGregor at Celtic, who's an outstanding footballer. So we're, we're, we're blessed in the middle of the pitch. It's always strange to see the criticism McTominay takes when he, when, he, when he features for Manchester United because when he plays for Scotland, whether he goes and plays at the back or just in front of the, the two centre-backs or, or whether he's asked to join the front man, he does an amazing job. And when I see him play for Manchester United, I don't think he does a lot wrong for them either. He just seems to be a wee bit of the whipping boy at Manchester United. Maybe not, it's not a fashionable name and he plays for Scotland, but... If he just keeps plugging away, he's a, he's a top player. I really do like him. Obviously, I, I spent a short period of time with John McGinn at Aston Villa. Fantastic guy. Stephen made him captain whilst we were there. I think he's a natural leader. He's somebody who's taken on that responsibility with the national team. And also, he's a player who provides... He can score a goal and he can make a goal. So he's, he's, he's very crucial for Steve, Stevie Clark if they make it to the Euros in Germany. You played alongside Steven Gerrard. Mm. You teamed up with him again as yes. his assistant. Can you give us an insight into what he's like as a manager? He's out in Saudi at the moment. Yeah. Do you see him coming back and absolutely. managing a top club in the Premier League? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think he was close to a couple of clubs here. Yeah, maybe, and then maybe a little bit disappointed, but the team in, in Saudi wanted him, and, and, and he's gone. And he's started, and he's, he's started well. He's, he's, he's enjoying it. You know the. The levels and everything in and around football in Saudi is obviously miles behind the Premier League in England, where, where everything is supreme. You know, the training grounds, sports science, the, you, know, you know, diets and food and everything. You know, so that, that'll be passed on, I'm sure. But he'll be back here without a shadow of a doubt. You know, he's, 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 he's meticulous in his preparation. You know, and the, the way he prepared himself for games at Liverpool is no different to the way he prepares teams to, to play at any level. You know, I enjoyed, we had a fantastic three and a bit years at um, Glasgow Rangers, another special football club. Managed to, to uh, win the 55th title, which has got a nice ring to it. Stopped Celtic doing 10 in a row, so that, that was special. Uh, we got unlucky at Villa, I felt, you know, with the injuries. The three, the three major signings that Stephen made all get injured within a couple of weeks of each other, and they were pretty serious injuries. Uh, Bubakar Kamara... Diego Carlos and Lucas Dina, so, you know, big players, big players who have gone on and done well for the new, the new manager's done an amazing job. You can't hide from that fact. They're good players at Villa, no surprises to see them doing well, but Unai Emery's a, he's, he's a quali quality manager and coach and, and his, his CV tells you that. So, please for the Villa, but a wee bit disappointed that it ended, too, it ended a wee bit too quick for Stephen and, and all his staff. Do you see them challenging for the top four or can they win a, a major trophy? in the near future? Everything's at, everything's at Villa, you know, I think the, the, the people who run the club are, you know, they're experienced at running sp sports ventures, um, the manager's obviously, he is a winner, a lot of managers say they're, they're winners and they haven't won anything, he is a genuine winner, so the training ground, the, you know, Villa Park, everything's in place, you know, and obviously it's, 
It's the recruitment that's it's, it's got to be key. Whether they can spend the, the amount of monies of the teams above them, that's, that's debatable. But everything, you know, if, if recruitment is good and you can get a lot, carry a little bit of luck and, and pluck somebody who can make a difference, there's no reason why Villa can't challenge up at the very top. Liverpool had a disappointing year by their standards last year. Yep. How do you see the situation there now with I know, Jürgen? I know, they, I, know they, I know they didn't finish where they wanted to finish and they're, they're now in the Europa League, but they finished the season really well, I thought. The little, the little bit of change with, with Trent moving in front of the, you know, which is quite trendy at the moment. Zobis Lai McAllister have settled really well, but in particular Zobis Lai is, is looking you know, when you see him the other night at Anfield against Leicester City, another one of my old clubs, he scored an amazing goal, wearing a number eight. There was there was there was quite a there was a bit of resemblance there. It's just nice to see somebody shoot. You know, in the in the six seven eight games of, since the season started, he's 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 not shy of you know getting the ball outside his right side. He's obviously right side and, and having a having a crack from 20, 25 yards, which is very rare. A lot of you know players or teams are looking to play little tight combinations and try to score the perfect goal. I like the fact that he's quite willing to take the responsibility and have a shot at the goal. What do you make of Trent and playing him potentially uh, yeah. in a midfield role, maybe not just for for Liverpool but for England? For England. Yeah, it's again, it's like there when it, when these teams, when Liverpool are in possession and Trent is involved. Anything can happen at any moment because he's got a range of pass second to none. So even if he intercepts close to his own box, he can move the ball and hit a pass 60 yards that will put somebody in on, on the other goal. Again, a, a player who's come in for a lot of criticism at times defensively, but what he gives you on the other end of the pitch, surely there has got to be a little bit of a balance because you can't... The player that can be a wonderful defender and hit wonderful passes and hit wonderful crosses... We're talking maybe two, three hundred million. They are, they are, there are little defensive frailties, but they're, but they're you know, we're, I think, I think the critics have been very picky. Can Liverpool challenge for the title this year? Yes, you know, I think, I think, I think when you hear managers saying we can maybe get here, then they, they, they are, they are big favourites. Man City are big. No, Liverpool start the season every season looking to win the league, and and. and and the fact that the fans feel that as well, that's the wonderful thing about Liverpool. The expectation of the fans will never go away. So you're under pressure to win games. And, and winning the league is the true barometer for, for Liverpool, I think. <laughs>